Hello everyone, the time is 3.51 p.m. and it is April 16th. This is another update from Great Lakes Weather. Hopefully you are enjoying the Easter weekend. This Easter weekend I'm celebrating the death, burial, and resurrection of my Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Hopefully you are enjoying the celebrations that you are having yourself. And looking at the picture that you are looking at right now, you can see that yes, we are in fact talking about snow. There is snow that is coming on Monday. It's not going to be much. I'm not, I don't expect it to accumulate too much, especially since the ground is quite warmer compared to what it was during the winter, which means the snow will not accumulate as easily. But there is going to be snow likely accumulating on some areas, probably some grassy areas most likely, and on elevated surfaces and on bridges. Roadways may get a little slick depending on how much snow we see, and we're looking at actually a lot more snow down in northern Ohio is looking like a target for more snow than parts of Michigan, northern Indiana. But it is going to get cold enough on Sunday night into Monday where we will see some snow accumulation. So we're going to get into all of that with the upcoming snow. And again, Great Lakes region, 78% of the time sees snow in April every year. So it's not abnormal to see snowfall accumulate like we will be seeing soon. So we're going to get into that and we're going to get into a possible warm up later on as well. So let's get into it. First of all, reminder to check out all of our different platforms that we're on YouTube, Instagram, True Social, Twitter, Facebook, Telegram. If you live in Southwest Lower Michigan, you can text that handle to 81010 and get connected. Scan that QR code in the bottom right hand side to make sure you're all connected with us. All right, first of all, I'd like to discuss that severe weather threat that we were expecting to have on Wednesday I believe Wednesday that didn't pan out as we first saw okay didn't pan out like we were expecting it to because we had plenty of um, rain already falling and, and a lot of cloud cover that really hindered our severe weather potential in the Great Lakes region southern Indiana did happen to see a severe thunderstorm and I think a tornado warning at one point but the storms did not get super bad because we had all of that convection that went in beforehand and that was kind of a heavy variable that was playing a role in our severe weather potential later on. So that severe weather potential didn't really pan out but I just wanted to put that out there saying that you know it was something that could have happened and it, and it did. So those of you that were not really hyped about the severe weather event then it's a good thing. It's a good thing that that severe weather did not happen. All right, so I want to go to the precipitation type because remember we are talking about a colder air mass that is sitting over the area as a result of those passing cold fronts that have gone through over the past couple of days. We saw a lot of rain yesterday. That was another front that was moving through. Um, that front prompted actually a pretty big storm in northern Arkansas that prompted a tornado warning for a possible wedge tornado that was on the ground and softball sized hail. Something you don't normally see every day. Northern Arkansas saw quite a bit of that yesterday. Today, um, we are in this colder air mass. It's kind of sitting over the region. Down south, it's a little bit warmer. Southern Ohio, Southern Indiana, you're probably likely not going to see much snow. Really, the snowfall area is going to stay off in northern Indiana, those regions. It's going to be associated with this little area of, of precipitation right here. Um, it's going to occur in the overnight hours, making it making sense that there will be snow from it because it gets colder during the overnight hours. We're actually going to see a freeze down into the mid-20s overnight tonight, and it's going to be quite a cold Easter time. And then, look, a lot of models are showing this really well-developed area of heavy precipitation that's going to move through parts of Ohio, including Cedarville. Those regions could see some pretty heavy snowfall. Um, I'm not going to show one of the models because the mo that model's way out there. I'm going to show you the models that are really agreeing with each other. But this area looks like it could see some heavier snowfall accumulations, whereas off to the north, we're going to get about one to three inches of snow. So going to get into all of that. But this is the main, main part we're going to be focusing on. This is going to be mo Sunday night into Monday morning, okay? So Sunday night and Monday morning, there's going to be quite a freeze, and we're going to see some snow begin to accumulate. And this is what the GFF, the ECMWF is putting out, this area of snow moving through over Monday, in, over the day on Monday, Monday morning, a couple inches of snowfall that are going to be moving through the area. So that's what we're keeping an eye on during the Easter weekend. All right, let's get to snowfall accumulations. So this is the GFS models run for snowfall accumulations. It kind of puts that similar amount of heavy snowfall potential in central Ohio, a really small area of central Ohio. You can see some pretty heavy snow up to five inches in a short amount of time. Meanwhile, you got up to the north, 
really areas that could see a trace and then areas that could see up to two inches. So it's going to be one of those really light snowfall events, kind of getting out of the winter season now. It makes sense. It's not really going to be a very um, heavy amount of snow. But get some snowfall accumulations of one to three inches anywhere north from a line of anywhere north of Indianapolis, I'd say. Anywhere north of Indianapolis could see one uh, up to two inches of snow over during the day on Monday, all right? So not too much snow, but it looks like the heavier snow is going to stay off Wisconsin and then a brief burst of heavy snow with that area that's expected to develop in Wisconsin. Now let's compare that to the other models because the other models are giving some insight onto these potential snowfall accumulations as well. GF GFS is what we're looking at right now. Let's compare that to the one we looked at for the radar, ECMWF. ECMWF puts out not as much snow um, until you go to the later run for Monday. You get a run of up to six inches closer to Cleveland based on that model. I think that's a little bit excessive for that model because a lot of models aren't really putting out that much snow for that area. But again, you are getting that similar run of potentially one to three inches and then you're going to get a heavier burst of snow somewhere in parts of Ohio and it looks like that burst could be greater than two inches of snow at least. I don't expect it to get really high totals but we will get a little bit of accumulation more in the parts of the Ohio region. Upper Peninsula could see up to four inches of snow from this system and that's going to include the potential for some lake effect. So these scattered snow showers are going to move through Sunday night into Monday and that's where we're going to see all the snow. So a little bit of a clip of snow in a short amount of time. Not too much snow that's going to impact travel unless you live in parts of the Ohio region. So ECMWF model puts that out. Let's compare it. I'm not going to show you the NAM model. Well, actually, I will, but I'm going to show you that it's actually kind of a crazy run of the NAM. We are not going to see this much snow. This is very excessive numbers from the NAM. I All the other models are agreeing on a much lesser amount of snow, so I would not pr expect this model to be accurate. Let's compare it to the HRRR. Back to reasonable levels again. The, the only difference is that this model displaces the heavier snow totals off to the west in parts of Indiana where you can see up to four inches of snow. But again, these regions again seeing one to two inches of snow in parts of the Great Lakes region. So nothing too significant, just some snow that may lead some slick spots. And then this is the NAM3K putting out another heavier snow total in parts of western Indiana. So really, it's going to be kind of difficult to fully forecast where the heaviest snow totals are going to be, but most places are just going to see no more than two inches of snow. And some places may not even see enough to stick on the ground. Again, we got those warmer ground levels. So even if we see snow totals of four to five inches in some spots, that snow is going to melt off really quickly. Again, it's going to warm back up to the 40s later on on Monday. So I don't anticipate this snow sticking around for long. Just for the morning commute, most likely, is when we're going to see the snowfall. So just a little bit of frustration in your traveling plans as we get through this. But it's looking more along the lines of the ECMWF model. Oop, I have totally messed up my thing here. Let's go back to the total snowfall amounts. ECMWF model putting out that potential for maybe two inches of snow in some spots of the Great Lakes region. That would be the best assessment from this model here. So just be aware of the fact that there will be some snow m Sunday night into Monday. Not too much snow. Some places might see a burst of heavier snow, but it looks like it's going to be really just a normal snowfall that you typically see during the winter time. But we have had snow this late in the season before, just in time for right after Easter. So perfect timing by um, God indeed. So here we go. Let's go to the temperature here. What I want to look at now is yes, we're going to have that cold blast of snow from this system that's going to be this low pressure system moving through Sunday night. But the snow is going to last long, as you said. It's going to drop into the mid, for, it's going to rise to the mid 40s on Monday. The snow is just going to melt off really quickly. We're going to see a pretty sharp warm up by the end of next week and next week. So it's really going to change quickly. You got those temperatures nearing freezing um, across parts of the area today, and then it's going to drop down to the freezing mark Sunday night, get below freezing, pa even might get down to 25 degrees. There's freeze warnings in effect for, I believe, parts of southern Ohio as of now with that freezing air that we're expecting. Warms up really quickly with the sunrise on Sunday, Easter Sunday. We're progressing it eastward. 
We got temperatures in the 50s. And then it get, it's going to get a lot colder. So this is for the system Monday night. You got temperatures that are just a little bit above freezing. That's what's going to be the potential for our snowfall in parts of the northern portions of the Great Lakes region. So just above freezing, you got that air above the atmosphere that's going to be a bit warmer. So, or a bit colder, sorry. A bit colder that's going to be able to allow that snow to, to stay frozen until it touches the ground. So... You get those temperatures, those cold temperatures over the next few days. But that air mass is going to begin to move out of the region. By the time we get to Wednesday and Thursday, you kind of see the temperatures warming up. 50s by morning on Thursday of next week. And then we're rising up to the mid-60s. Look at that. Air mass, is, cold air mass is going to filter out pretty quickly midweek of next week. And then we're going to see some really nice warm temperatures by the weekend. Look at this. Down in southern Indiana, you got 70s. And 70s even in parts of southern Michigan. It's going to stay a little bit chilly in the Upper Peninsula, but that's the Upper Peninsula for you this time of year. So not really surprised to see that. But then, by Saturday, we're in the mid-70s in some spots. And even, look at that, mid-80s in parts of the Plains. We're actually watching potential for severe weather next week connected to this warmer air mass. I'm not going to really get into that right now because, again, the models are going to be varying throughout most of the next few days. So I don't want to really publish anything for that just yet. But we do see some warmer weather coming in and look at that 70s even going getting close to 80 in parts of eastern Michigan and then in the 80s in Ohio so next weekend gonna be nice you're gonna wanna get out there get out and see some see some maybe go to the lake maybe go hiking do some fun stuff next weekend it's gonna be a really nice weekend to be out and about that at that time so much warmer and even going into Monday that's far out this model but it looks like as we get towards Tuesday the 26 we got a colder air mass gonna filter back in so this might we're going to want to keep an eye on for potential for some thunderstorms. Not sure about potential for severe weather just yet. Again, I don't want to get into that until the SPC has said stuff about this or the models really show better signs closer to the event of the severe weather potential. So we're not going to get into that just yet, but temperatures are going to be warming up. So one more round of snow then we're hitting spring all right so just wait until that time frame that is where i'm going to stop so hopefully this video was helpful to you in getting some accurate information reminder to check out our website you can scan that qr code to be updated and i hope you have a great easter celebrating the resurrection of christ and i will see you all later on